This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I play Sophie. She's getting married to Skye. And uh, Sophie's dream has always been to have her father walk her down the aisle. Uh, but then she finds this diary in her mom's room that has three possible fathers. Don't go wasting your emotion. I love our duet. Uh, I love Honey Honey Top of Show with my two bridesmaids. It's so fun to do a show that you could just giggle and laugh the whole time. I had the great fortune of doing this show on Broadway. I played a different part. I played Tanya. I think it's really fun idea to think, what if those three guys that could have been the possible <laughs> fathers show up in your life again, truly? You know, the scene with Sophie when she asks me to give her away. It's so moving and I was crying reading it. And it's a beautiful song slipping through my fingers too, which is another one that I think so many people can relate to. Where are those happy days? They seem so hard to find. I tried to reach for you, but you have closed your mind. I'd been offered the part twice before on Broadway, and I'd been offered it in Vegas, and I was unavailable. And having now done it, I understand why my friend said it, because it, it, it's a part that feels really right for me. When you call, no I try, how can I carry on? That number is, is amazing to me in many ways, because it's really just this sort of bubblegum pop number. But the way it's shown on stage, between what's going on with the two people, because she believes that he's married, and yet she still has these huge feelings that she's fighting against. Well, I'm one of the best friends of Donna, and we were pals as kids, and we're pals now, and we had a band together called Donna and the Dynamos. You know I always keep your whole woman cookbook in my big pick. Then you'll know how to pepper my snapper. Mm -hmm. Bill is very much that sort of crocodile Dundee sort of character. Normally he's the, the guy that's doing the catching and she just grabs him and I, I think he is surprised by it but loves it at the same time. Marriage, children, responsibility, I walk a lone path. I'm a lone wolf is what I'm kind of describing to her and she says, well, if you change your mind, take a chance on me. She's still Donna. Often these roles are played, there's a, Sam is the leading man, Bill is a chunkier uh, character guy, and then Harry, my character, is a nerdy, twerpier type. And Larry wanted actually for the three guys to actually be viable suitors for her, that you wouldn't just go, of course she's going to end up with, with Sam. In the I have a number with Donna. It's called Our Last Summer. And I like it because the show needs it at that moment, because we got some heavy stuff going on on both sides of that scene. And it just lightens things up a lot. I actually have never got to play a role like this that gets to be so silly. You get the best laughs in the show. Well, I don't know I about mean, that. I mean, oh, you do. There's the one that stops the show. I'm an old show. I like to throw my legs up in the <laughs> yes. air. Yes. I mean, what? You can teach her, tell me the truth. <laughs> I'm the shoulder you can cry on. Does your mother know is the showgirl Angie? That's like what I've done my whole career, that sort of sexy dance. But Chiquitita, seeing a middle-aged woman, doing the running man and like these silly, odd steps. That's just joy for me. What's great is that like audiences know every song. So sometimes it feels more like a rock concert. It's not our generation, but I grew up with it because my parents are obsessed. So I didn't have to learn a single song for this. <laughs> I already had it memorized. You easily get swept up into each and every number. There will never be a, 
I'm a rock star <laughs> time in my life, this is it. Coming down in that green jumpsuit, that's when I believe that there are 15,000 people out here and they've been waiting for me to sing Dancing Queen. I see why this show has been such a hit. Dancing in the aisles, it's that kind of show. Yeah.